Good evening, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich, and an air of expectancy about this game because when you walk through the turnstiles and you go up to your seat, you know you're going to get to see the top point getter in the league, and that's a thrill. Who doesn't love to see goals and points, Doc? And when you have the leading scorer in the entire league on the ice, he's going to get a lot of attention from the other team's best defensive players. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. This man's the choice in goal tonight. He's worn the same number on his back since his days as a young goalie in minor hockey. He wears it again tonight for the home team. Kearns is the man in the crease in this game. His commitment has been superb. He even gets mad if he lets one in in practice. And sometimes he doesn't for the visitors. The teams are ready, and so are we. You cut it a little close, didn't you? But you're here, and so are we. Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro, and me, Mike Emmerich. Game just started. With a shot. Missed. Oh, what a great opportunity that was. I know that shot had a lot of heat on it, but if you put a soccer net there, it wouldn't have hit it. It's a point hammer shot. The generals have gotten to center ice. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Looks over his options from the corner. Nicely received at the point. Fires a shot. Carries it to the corner. To the point. Point to point pass. Looking for options. Dishes it back. And he gets it back. Sends it back the other way. Hamilton's up the wing setting things up. Generals with a face-off win. Gains the zone. That play went offside. Hamilton's coaching staff's done an exceptional job this year, moving the pieces of the puzzle around to get the best results. As a result of a lineup that's pretty varied, they're tough to play against, and they lead the league standings as a result. Ray, thanks very much. Boy, they are the talk of the league right now. Oh, and he misses. Oh, man, he looks skyward after that shot. What a rocket he let go. He just missed the net. Up the wing, moving along. He's got that point pass. Picks it up back there. Hamilton's carrying on up the wing. Shot. Great save in close. A missed opportunity from this close in. Just under eight minutes have transpired. Two goals so far, divided in half. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. They win it. Propelled to Malone. Good shooting place. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. Slot shot. Stared him down and made the save. Good clean win on the draw. Perfect tip by the stick. And the heat's taken off by the clear. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Takes that pass at center ice. Using the point, he's got it. Back in front. That one's deflected. 
Yeah, shot back out. All's fine. Hamilton's lugging it up the wing. Sends to the point. Off his pad. Back at the point now. And he gets it back. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face -off. Ostra's fans sitting behind their net got up and showed their respect by bowing to him after that huge save. Got possession. Stood up there. Hanging on to it through the neutral zone. That one is pointed to him. Rock to the glass. Broke it up well with the poke check. Fry. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. And we get a penalty. Referee to the table, a player to the box. Malone's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. The penalty. 18 minutes, 49 seconds. 20 minutes in the books, both teams scored a single time. Fans tonight are world famous Glancy's dropping $50 gift certificates. Hamilton's registered a lot of hits in this period, but the one that will last the longest in memory, at least through the intermission, was this one. Back in just a moment. Lifted back out so they can get some fresh troops out. Got it in his own end. He's got it. Perfect pass. Cut the ice in half. Taken over again. Chip to Malone. Let's it go. And a save. Still no shot. At the point with it. And he gets it back. Hangs on to it. Oh, missed the net. Up the half wall. Sanders. Neither team is giving up much in the way of room or scoring chances. Every inch of the ice is being contested. It's been a pretty good low-scoring game. And he skates it back to regroup. Long pass out of the zone on the wing. He's got it. He's got that pass at the point. Got his glove on it. Freezes play. Malone's contributions often come without the puck. He has among the highest hit totals in the league. A punishing player to play against. Over seven minutes to go. It is a tight contest thus far with the score 2-1. to one. Pitching it to Malone. Hamilton's controlling play now up the wing. Around through the corner right now. A shot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Wow, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Good reach there. Outstanding save. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Puck loose, good defensive play. Looking for a better lane. Oh, and the pass. 
just wouldn't go. A good stick there, so no complete pass. And he steps across the line. Just great positional play. Players tired, about to get a rest, but still seconds to play in this period. In the second period. And he picks it up. Wants the shoulder of the corner here. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Into the attacking end. And the pickup. On to Malone. And he shoots. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. During the game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Even with the enhanced safety measures, there are moments when a puck can be propelled. Kearns has had a wonderful night. Saves like this one have staked his team to the lead. We'll head to break. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Ostro has had very little time of possession, Doc. They've been outplayed in that category big time, but they're still in this game. One shot, and they're right in it. It is the third period, and we are underway. Nice tip of the pass. The Generals are skating it back in their own air. Goes back deep for it. Gets in. What'll he do? Gives it to the point. Gives it on a cross from the point. Blocked. And the loose puck regathered by Malone. Carried right up the middle. Corralled by Malone. This takes a lot out of him. Slid to Malone. It's an onside play. From the outside. Save. Solid clean win. Stopped him from going any further. A chance to clear. And he dumps it in. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Hamilton's got it and moving up the wing. Good place to shoot from. Shoots one. The puck is fielded now by Malone. Shoots. That's the way to make him pay. Unfortunately, the puck carrier there knows he's in a hockey game. Wow, what a collision. Malone's going to be boxed for two minutes, and the call is interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. Five minutes, 15 seconds. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? We've had plenty of opportunities on a power play. Nobody's been able to score. I'm with you, Eddie. Maybe this will turn that around, though. Let's go, Arisha. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Sends it back the other way. Sometimes when you break your stick like that, you get too much ice instead of the pocket. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Blue line control lets the shot fly. Just why? Oh, this is prime real estate right in front of the goal with the puck. You got to find a way to hit the net. You can't miss that wide. Hamilton's carrying it in their own zone. Whoa, what a play! And that's a good job taking the pressure off. They must retreat and start back again. Gains the blue line. 
tries to get it on net. Oh, a save. Malone's got another in a long list of face-off wins. Shot on. Sticked away. He takes that pass right off the left wing. A shot. The shot is off. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. That's where you just got to shoot for the center of the net. No! Having a heavy shot like that is great, but you got to hit the net. Gets in. What'll he do? Big face-off win. Takes that pass. Each team has tried to force their will onto the game at various points tonight, but there is no spread in the game. Two evenly matched teams playing a tight game. Takes that pass from the other point man. Hamilton's continuing to probe up the wing. Laid on to Malone. What another save! Oshawa's penalty killing unit has come to the fore again, and they are still doing the job. But don't test them too much. This is a brutal formula to try and stay in the game here. They've been shorthanded so many times. Paddle aside. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Just under three minutes to go in the period. And it is two to one, the score in this one. He's got it. Hamilton's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Shoots one, didn't get through. Puck covered, whistle blown. won that draw. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the club. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? The generals want to generate something up the wing. Points it. Propelled to McKenna. Chip to McKenna. Great glove save. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. A big win. Let's see what happens. Great time. The generals have to be totally confused by all of this. They can't reverse the momentum of losing. Solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game. We hope you liked it. We'll all look forward to next time. Good night from all of us.
Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, and you'll hear and see Ray Ferraro in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich, and we are tonight seeing a team that is on a bit of a downside. They have not been able to win consistently lately. Take us inside that locker room. What's it like? Well, you got to try to find some confidence, Doc, right now because you are shaken. The pressure is on you. Your fans are on you. The media is on you. Your coach is probably all over you. But I think more than anything else, it's a mindset. It's let's not really try to worry about winning the game because that is the end result, and we know that. But let's win the first period and see where we are after the first period of play. Ostro has found themselves on a losing streak as of late, but they have been doing some good things. It's just a matter of time before they are rewarded for all their hard work. Maybe it's tonight. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. This man's got the start. You know, if they like the goalie and they like playing for you, you stand a good chance to be strong, and that's the hope for the home team. This man's the starter tonight as the season rolls on so many hours with the goalie coach, and it's worked for him and for the visitors. The teams are ready, and so are we. Opening faceoff done. Play in. Hawk loose. Couldn't get through. Shoots one. Score! Boy, they're on the board early, aren't they? The butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Enzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quick. Hamilton's gotten the crowd into it early. And rightfully so. The energy they played with has been terrific. Hamilton Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. Hamilton's in possession and moving up the wing. Puck lost. He was bumped down to one knee. Fires. Save! Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a faceoff right near him. Him on that one. Let's a shot fly. Nearly grazed the iron on that. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Blocked. Hangs on to it. Faces up to the point. This is a confident bunch. Poked away. Picked up by the defense. And he gains the zone. received at the point. Shoot. A whistle and a rest. Hamilton's offense circles around one of the highest goal scorers in the league while he can score off the rush. His most dangerous weapon is that quick release. Just over six minutes have transpired in the period. It's a 1-0 game. Clean win on the draw. Gets in. What'll he do? Great save. Can make a play from the corner. Scrum over. Puck kicked. Glides across. Block. Great extra effort. And he gets it back. Hamilton's got it and moving up the wing. Oshawa's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Now you have to go back to the drawing board a little bit. You had a chance to tie the game on the power play. Nothing happens, and you can't let yourself get frustrated. Solid, clean win. Stood up there.
The Generals continue on in the defensive zone. Gets across, looks over his options. Flings it. That's a good pass save. Freezes play. The Bulldogs always want to play a physical game, and their leader is right here. He always has among the highest hit totals in the league. He is a pinball on ice. Got possession. Moves it to the corner. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. The Generals prevail again. Hamilton's in control through the neutral zone. A shot. Oh, what a save. He's got that point pass. Fires. The Generals have control of the puck in their own end. And he gains the zone. Back to the point. And he's hammered. Strom's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Loose puck, good defensive denial. First period is over. The coaches will have something to say to both shooters and goaltenders. Only one goal scored, and two periods yet to go. Hamilton's go-ahead goal in this game came a long time ago. And then the teams battled pretty much on even terms the rest of the way. We'll see what the next period brings about. But for now, we'll be right back. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first. The Generals are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. First face off of period two. Has that point pass as well. Takes it to the corner. The Generals through the neutral zone, setting things up. Went off someone, loose puck. Receives that pass from the other side. He's got that pass at the point. Hamilton's carrying it in the defensive zone. Perfect centering pass. Angled to the corner by Malone. The Generals are controlling in their own end. Hamilton's in their own end and has possession. He gets that pass ahead in stride. Let's it go. Goaltender was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on top of him. This barely changes direction after the goalie gets just a touch on it. Not enough to make the save. Hamilton's goal has given them a two-goal lead now, and there's still a lot of time left in the game. We're still in the second period. Opportunities than that. Great save. Hamilton's controlling the play in their own end. Let's it go. Oh, deflected away. 
The General's penalty kill is over. A long one, only one against. Well, you can't expect to score every time on the power play, but you would like to generate a few more chances than they did on this last one. They were good. Got a stick on it. Defensive zone win. Hamilton's continuing to probe up the wing. Let's it go. But covered, whistle blown. Hamilton's been an offensive juggernaut led by this player who has among the highest points totals in the league. He's a dangerous player, remarkably skilled on the power play. Malone's just like his team, winning everything. Up to the point. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Blocked away. A shot. Terrific point blank save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Using the point. Didn't get through. Shot. Great save at the edge of the crease. With a blast! Off a of body! Moving it to Malone. Looking for options. Oh, and he missed the net! Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. That's where you just gotta shoot for the center of the net. Into the corner. To the front. Not on the net! Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Buck is thrown to Malone. Just a backhand. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Hamilton's strength has been in goal scoring, and this one gave them a two-goal lead. That's the one they enjoy right now. We'll have more in a moment. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edson. Ostro's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Hamilton's in their own end, lugging it along. Gets in. What'll he do? Good place to shoot from. Glanced off the post. Would have been nice for an extra cushion if that puck hits the pipe and goes in. That's still frustrating even though you're in the lead. Solid defensive position there. I'd be shocked if they don't score. What control? Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Puck loose. Makes that play deep. but has to get rid of. Passing one off now to Hall. It's dumped in. Much ice to cover on this power play. Time's a wasting. It's taken by Malone. Gains the zone. Fires and a save. Looking for a better lane. Hamilton's power play unit fails this time. They've been okay so far. The problem with taking so many penalties is four or five forwards and two or three defensemen are the only guys that get on the ice. So they're exhausted, and the other guys are like a frozen rope sitting on the bench. On the delayed penalty, the change is made, and the extra man is out there. Loose puck knocked away by Malone. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. Hamilton's minor is a cross-checking two-minute penalty. Doc, you can push in the game of hockey, but once you get that stick up, two hands on the stick, that's a penalty. 
The power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. The Generals needed something from their power play and didn't get it. They have enough power plays to evaluate the people that they've had on the ice, and maybe they just don't have enough skill to be successful. They get chances, but they just can't finish them off. Pass up that right wing, and he's got it. Propelled to Malone. Got a free puck now. Gains the zone. A shot. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Shoots. Oh, what a break. Shot hit the man. And the pickup. Hamilton's looking to head man up the wing. He throws it there. Got a piece of that one. Ray. Kearns has flashed the leather both with his gloves and his pads. He's been exceptional throughout the night's contest. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. He has been remarkable tonight, Ray. He's going to be one of my three stars of the game, maybe the first. Over four minutes remaining in the period. Two goals have been scored. Both by one team. A shot. Gloved. That was all positioning. Right into his glove. They won that face off. Can they clear it? Oh, and he is drilled. He's trying to wake his team up with that hit. Mashed in. Pitching this one to Malone. Into the attacking end. Fires a shot. A terrific scoring chance denied. Oshawa's PK. Oh, he got that. He covers and holds on. Hamilton's organizing things back in the defensive zone. That puck's loose. Good defense. Gets in. Looks over his options here. Right into the slot. Flips that wrist shot. Oh, what a chance there denied. The pad flexed out. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. The Generals have to be totally confused by all of this. They can't reverse the momentum of losing. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.